Yay, another exciting adventure. <laughs> Hoop houses. Two of them. 30 by 70. Um, this guy posted them up. He's asking $1,000 or best offer. Um, realistically, I think they're worth $1,000, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, the front one has a pretty solid floor in it. Um, I'm a little concerned about just uh, because it looks like they poured the slab or poured some sort of concrete after they built the hoop house. And so that concrete is around all the, the posts. So it might be hard to bust those posts loose from the slab. This back one, it may have concrete around the poles. I'm not sure. Um, actually, you know what? There aren't poles on the back one. The back one. Oh, the back one, they're, they're bent and they're just bolted through the poles for the front one. Um, so yeah, there's not poles on the back one, which means I can get the back one down pretty much right away. Anyway, um, you guys that have followed my channel, you know, you know, we kind of, obviously I play with gardening and I've, you know, done a little bit of basically hobby nursery sort of stuff before selling some plants here and there. Um, but we've been working on the hardwood seedlings nursery with the trees. And I just released a video talking about how those seedlings were performing in the summer sun. And it's not killing them, uh, but it is causing them to defoliate, uh, which is stunting them basically it's it's reducing their growing season because they go dormant in the middle of the summer basically so they lose growing time lose optimal growing time because it's just so hot so our thought here is with the hoop houses obviously plastic in the winter for season extension for whatever we want um, but in the summertime uh, being able to throw shade cloth on them to protect those uh, those tender seedlings so yeah we've been kind of you know planning and discussing and and my wife's really been on board with this, which is good because she's been doing a lot of shopping. Yeah, it's kind of funny, her and I will will take turns on who's interested in what, so to speak. And so, you know, a year ago, I was probably pushing this hard and I was shopping for hoop houses like crazy and she was ignoring me. And now she's the one shopping like crazy. Um, and I've just been kind of letting her, you know, just said, okay, yeah, tell me what you find. So anyway, yeah, these just popped up uh, on Facebook Marketplace, like just... I guess she's been searching for hoop houses, you know, and the computers are smarter than us. So it, it threw them up first thing right in front of her. And she was like, wow. So she just saw him last night. I messaged the guy right away, called him this morning. He's like, yeah, man, go get him. He's like, we want this whole place torn down, cleaned up. It's an old, you know, it was a nursery. Uh, they had a big store out front. That's this big white building here. Um, the two hoop houses. I was hoping to find a whole bunch of pots and stuff. I don't really see any pots. I see one or two lying around here and there, but a lot of garden hoses laying around. Those will be handy. He basically said, look, anything that you think you need, because I told him, you know, that we're looking at getting in the nursery business. He said, anything that you need that you see out there that can be used in the greenhouse, he said, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that goes with the greenhouses. So I think he'll probably throw all that sort of stuff in for free. There's a big roll of chicken wire that I found just sitting back here against the tree line. Like it's, <laughs> there's a little, there's a little creek back here and it looks like there may have been a habit of, you know, disposing of stuff in the creek not that i support that but it looks to me like that's what the last owner was doing maybe just you know accidentally losing some stuff in the creek from time to time oh but they do have so the front hoop has fans on it it has these big commercial fans which those right there are expensive they are old they are rusty uh but they still spin one has a motor on it I'll probably replace that motor anyway the other one the motor's missing but that's that's worth money right there just having those big fans those things aren't cheap there aren't any cooling cells and I don't think I'm going to take the, the outhouse here. I think I'll leave the outhouse. Um, there aren't any actual cooling cells, but just having the fans alone um, will be a big plus in that one, as well as the end frame. This one doesn't have a, a totally closed in end frame, but it does have some posts. And, you know, like I said, it's all just, this looks like one inch maybe. 
me this looks like just one inch galvanized tubing so you know you can you can build the end frames the front one was definitely is definitely the better one um, as far as having like the it's got the the channel for pinning your plastic in here there's just these little clamps I don't know if you guys can can see that really but there's just these little clamps and there's a piece of heavy gauge wire that goes in there so you tuck your plastic in tuck the wire in on top of it and then flip these clamps over to hold it there's this big channel which is pretty cool it looks like it's not rusted out yet big galvanized gutter that goes between the two hoops so you can set them side by side and not have you know a big wall of water tearing your hoops down that's cool because that'll catch a ton of water we can redirect that back to the pond you know and have a little more rainwater collection or whatever we need uh so yeah anyway i guess i just wanted to start the video and kind of brag and and talk about it. he said this whole place is getting torn down so who knows we may come back and try to get metal off the roof of the buildings you know just for other projects or whatever he said they're they're pretty much prepared to run a bulldozer through this place uh they're wanting to clean it up and start a new business here so anyway like i said just wanted to kind of kick it off and brag i'm gonna get a hold of the wife she sent me up here with cash in pocket today but the owner's not here um but i talked to him on the phone and he said yeah you know what just he's like just start taking them down and we'll catch each other out there someday and we'll settle on it so that's pretty cool um yeah so i gotta get a hold of the wife figure out what to do with our youngest daughter because she's still not in school which she's at grandma's right now but i told grandma it'd only be an hour or so um i don't like to fly to her and change my mind so i don't know if i'll get back up here today if i do it'll be with a toddler in tow um which is fine by me she's a good kid she's a champ but I'll get a hold of the wife and see what she wants to do. If not, we'll probably be up here tomorrow. This kind of just popped up on the radar and, you know, it's a hot ticket item. I want to grab it because they want these things out of here as quick as they can. So I need to get on it. Okay, well, we're back out here on it day two. And uh, I got my wife here helping me today. So we're having a little date day. These are the kind of dates we go on. We find a sitter and we go do crazy odd jobs like this. Um, so yesterday I finished all the main ridge and I finished this side brace uh, i was here for about an hour at most this morning went down and got this off we've been here for about i think about an hour and a half now got this side brace off and now i've gone along the base over here where the poles were all set in the ground and gotten all those bolts out down on the far end it was a little nasty i had to dig out a lot of grass and weeds and actually dig a hole to then be able to get the impact driver or the saws all down in to cut the bolts most of them are zipping off just fine i think i had to cut three or four on that side and I think that's going to be the worst of it um, as far as getting bolts out because on this side they're bolted through this end of the leg is bolted through the post off of the other hoop house so hopefully I won't be down in the weeds on this side but there are two bolts per leg on this side and there's only one bolt per leg on that side so we'll just have to see um, but I'm working to get these out and that'll be the last of the bolts to pull for this hoop and then we can lay all these hoops down well i got to get uh all these here off the gutter i guess um but then we'll be ready to lay these hoops down katie's working on just demoing that hoop house however she can just pulling off wire pulling down hoses just anything she can to get it opened up and cleaned up um so that as soon as i get done with the impact driver she can take it because we only have one driver stupid mistake on our part but we only have one 716s deep socket so <clears throat> We only bought one driver. Anyway, that's your little update. We're going to keep rolling. All right, end of day one. And by day, I mean we were here for uh, not even five hours total. Um, and that was with me leaving for an hour to go to town and get a, get a generator because the power company came by this morning and shut the power off so that they could switch ownership of the property. And then I, I guess they have to turn the power off to do that for some reason. And then they just turned it right back on at the end of the day. We just noticed the lights come back on on the house. Uh, anyway, we've got the whole first hoop down, the back hoop. Uh, the poles that you see left standing back in here, those are set in concrete, as are the poles that are down along the ground that the hoops slide into, so those are staying. But we've got all the hoops laid out over there. Uh, they've just got the top bolt in them that connects the two halves together. We'll knock those out tomorrow uh, when we go to slide them on the trailer, so they actually fit on the trailer. And we started on the second one here. Katie got it all cleaned up. She got all the tarps and hoses and wires. Well, except for that tarp. But hoses, wires, just there was all this bird netting that was run up to the first brace there. Got all that crap pulled down. That's what all this is, which is actually still really good quality wire. We rolled it up. We'll take that home. She got a bunch of hoses laid out there that might be salvageable. Um, 
and we got the top the top main brace taken down so we'll be back tomorrow at least one of us will be i don't know if katie will join or not we'll see how what our sitter situation is uh, but worst case is i'll be back tomorrow and by myself i should be able to get the other four braces all down and start going along the ground and getting all of the um hoop bolts the bottom bolts taken loose katie's already gone through here and taken out quite a few of the bottom bolts so should tear out pretty quick with any luck we get it all done tomorrow if we can really bang it out this back wall is going to slow us down with the fans but we'll see what happens all right well i didn't get you guys the end of day two day three day three i think but this is the beginning of day four this is the last of it yesterday we were here again katie and i all day um and we got all of the second house obviously torn down so everything is down on the ground these posts on the side they're concreted in we're not going to waste the time even trying to get them out because they're probably rusty below grade anyway so those are going to get left and bulldozed we'll just replace those with new poles at our place and we may still change you know we like the two foot high sidewalls we might go in three foot who knows uh, but all those poles left everything you see laying out here there's just two main hoops left we still got to pick those up and move them we were really down, down to the minute yesterday that we just said, hey, let's just, we were, you know, carrying them out and we were stacking them all over there. And I said, hey, stop walking each time. Let's just lay them down, get them down on the ground. Um, because we weren't sure if Katie was going to get to come back today. And so I wanted to get, at least get everything laid down that I could break it down if I had to. But she is here, luckily. So today's just cleanup and all this stuff is going to stay. That's all rubbish. They said they don't care. They're going to bulldoze it. So today, pretty much, we're just breaking down the hoops. We've laid them all down whole. We'll break them in half, get them on the trailer, and then get up all the rest of the, the poles and everything over here. So here in just a, hopefully no more than a couple hours, we should be loaded up and get out of here. All right, we got it all picked up, loaded up. Uh, the guy that was selling it said, you know, anything that's greenhouse related goes. So all these hoses we got, uh, little hose fittings, sprayers, stuff like that. Uh, the wire was all part of stuff that was in the hoop houses that they were using because I think they'd been using them for chicken houses or something. But anyway, we've got it loaded on, strapped down. We had to break the poles in half to fit. And even after the broken half, they're still about 20 feet long. So that would make the hoops be, you know, 40 plus total length. Um, but anyway, we got it loaded up. The place is, you know, it looks a little messy, but that's what they told us to do. They said they're going to run through it with a bulldozer. So they said, take what you want and leave the rest and we'll clean it up. But... This is just the beginning of a, another big, big part of our lives to come, trying to put these things back up at our place and um, get them in service. So we just got home with our uh, hoop house loot here. Uh, this was the second and final load. This was everything from the first load as far as we just threw what we could on the trailer yesterday before we left, a bunch of the bracing and uh, those are the door frames there and of course the big fans which probably aren't going to be any good we're really not sure you know they're they're big fans but i mean the blades are pretty rusted out on them and this shroud around the outside of course is totally rusted out the main box of the fan appears good and the, i don't know that's all part of, that's all broke loose so i just don't know if you know i wouldn't worry too much about the blades themselves being rusty because they're not bent i don't know if maybe i can just have a fab shop make me um you know a new shroud to put in there and then we'll have to put new motors on them but the fans still spin easy at least you know it might be one of those things that we you know throw them in for now and then in a couple of years we see about replacing them but anyway i was just going to share with you guys what our plan is for right now with the hoop houses for the immediate plan anyway as quick as we can get around to it is I'm going to get this hole filled in eventually the rest of the way once I get my excavator home all that dirt's piled up there some of it's going to fill that hole in and the rest of it's going to be used to just kind of fill in this low out in here but we've got this nice wide open flat space already I have not measured it off but I'm pretty sure from basically the edge of the dirt there to somewhere in here behind the logs is at least 60 feet and we've easily got 70 to 80 going that way so if we put both hoop houses up side by side that'd be that you know the 30 by 70 katie actually measured out uh she thinks they're 76 feet long based on the hoop being four foot on center um we actually didn't have a tape measure long enough to measure the um the width we need to go check the width because we just pulled the hoops out and they kind of sprang a little bit when we pulled them out so um we want to go back maybe this evening and just run up there real quick with the tape and measure it but anyway 
assuming they're 30 by 76 put two of them side by side that makes it 60 by 76 both of them running you know this direction east to west um, but the hope for right now anyway is the one that's the better one that had the fans and everything it was the front one as we call it um, set it up just because it's the stronger more stable hoop house so it'll be set up as our primary hoop house for right now to actually start plants in and growing the secondary one is not as nice of a quality um, but we're hoping to set it up and you know back here and then put my sawmill in here I mean I guess we could set it up either way we could set the nicer one there and the other one it doesn't matter which one goes where but we're going to use the second one for right now as a shade shelter to put over my sawmill so we can finally get my sawmill out of the weather get me some shade i'll be able to hang some lights above it so that'd be pretty cool but this is going to be the area it should work really well i mean the garden is right there um if we do you know some sort of sub commercial or retail work out of the hoop houses it'd be perfect customers would be able to pull right in here in the driveway the hoop houses would be right here off to the side they do get you know it's noon now and you can see where the sun's out past the trees this area right in here even in the summer will stay shaded till about like on the driveway i'm saying we'll stay shaded until about 10 30 10 out here and then by noon of course it's all full sun so they're going to get more than enough sun not a problem and in the winter time uh, even with the sun in the southern hemisphere we still get good sun all out on this opening you know there'd be a big shadow against that south tree line in the winter time but this out here all still gets full sun all day in this in the winter so uh that's pretty much it for the preliminary planning um We've discussed and we're thinking probably the best thing we're going to do. We're not going to put in swamp coolers just yet. That's not our plan. Um, the fans are exhaust fans. We did notice that just based on the, uh, the way that the louvers go. They are exhaust fans, not intake fans. So we could install swamp coolers on the other end if we feel like we need to. But for right now, we're going to have just the fans and we're going to try to do... Um, earth tubes you know we've got rosy we can dig as deep as we want so that helps us that gun gives us an advantage so we're planning on setting the hoops getting the hoop uh the poles laid out where they need to be the posts in the ground um and then we'll dig a great big trench right down the middle of it and put in a bunch of uh black corrugated pipe as earth tubes that's our hope our stable ground temperature down here at about six feet deep is 70 to 75 um, so maybe in the worst heat of summer, we can just do a little bit of earth tubes. Um, but we're not planning on, um, we're not planning on doing any artificial cooling really. Like I said, we're not going to do swamp coolers. We're not going to be trying to grow, you know, cool season greens in here during the summertime. Our plan is more to just have the protection Real, realistically our plan right now is to be able to have a structure we can hang a shade cloth on. So in the summertime when it gets just blasted hot, you know we have an opportunity to to get a little relief from the sun basically using like high tunnels and in the winter time be able to have a little bit of relief you know we don't get that cold but be able to have that more stable temperature so we can start you know doing garden starting you know garden seed things and things like that so we can at least have a frost free zone uh, to help us get a jump on the on the summer so anyway uh, I'm gonna walk over here and look at what's left of my herbal nursery right now pick through the weeds but just want to share that with you this is the plan I have no idea when we're going to get around to it and we're going to get started. Um, but that's kind of the plan in a nutshell on what we think we're going to do. I'm sure that'll change. <laughs>